Hello everyone and welcome to the advanced module of entrepreneurship and corporate entrepreneurship. I'm Iraklis Agevlasidris from the National Documentation Center in Athens, Greece. So, what we'll be discussing today in the advanced module is funding and funding opportunities for startups. This is a picture that may be quite familiar to you. All startups are looking for funding. They try to find their own activities and this is a, a never-ending chase. Maybe some of the startups could be lucky and they eventually, after a lot of chasing and a lot of efforts, they come up with some money. But this does not solve their problems because at some point you will run out of this money and you will go back to running and chasing again for further money. So this is the never-ending chase of business development for a startup. And in order to be able to know what funding options are there out there, you have to understand some common framework pieces in the puzzling. So in order to be able to identify your funding resources, you will have to come up with some insights regarding this puzzle, this funding puzzle. What are your options? Bootstrapping. You may start with your own resources. You may get a debt from a financial institution, such as a bank. You may give equity in order to get money from an investor. You may find a grant, or you may win a prize, or you may also use some other types of funding, some newer types of funding, such as crowdfunding. We'll see all these bullet points into further detail in the next slides. This is a very basic diagram, the startup financing cycle. And this has to do with the first period of product or business development. So, when you start your business, you always burn money and you enter this notorious valley of death where you only invest money and you do not have even a product that you can sell in the market. Once you get your business product or service into the market, you start earning your revenues and then you may reach at some point the break-even point. This here is the break-even point. Once you read the break-even point, you may be the lucky one that comes into profitability. And then you will require further funding in order to expand your business. So, what differentiates your financing cycle is the maturity of your product or your business development. At the very first stage, where you only invest, you may find money from early prizes, from competitions, or from grants for early businesses or for startups. Or you may start the triple F, start looking for money in the triple F uh, people, friends, family, and fools. You may also look for some angel investors that may be able to use, to provide you with some pre-seed or seed capital. But once you reach profitability, then your financing requirements in order to scale your business may be significantly higher. And this is when you turn to venture capitals, for instance, for, or you're looking for large enterprises to make an acquisition or a merger. And at the very last stage, you may be among the lucky ones that may make an initial public offering and go out to the stock market to the public market. And what happens with your business that was your own child, your own company that you built at some point and you had all the equity yourself is that is it is getting diluted. More and more people are getting into the company, they get equity, they get shares, you may get more shareholders and your Part of the equity sharing is going lower and lower over time. But what is important is that your business is expanding and the value of your segment is higher than was before, than was earlier. 
but this is a normal stage of business development and you should not be afraid of it. What happens when you want to have both the pie full and the dog fed? You may reach for some funding, like funding schemes from the European Commission or grants. So let's start with trying to identify what funding instruments are there for startups. And you should know and you should familiarize yourself with Startup Europe, which is uh, a very interesting priority of the European Union that allows or gathers resources for funding for startups. Who can participate? All legal entities may participate in EU project funding. So startups could be eligible. But you have to identify which funding instrument is specifically targeting startups and which is not. Because not all, not all instruments are referring to the right target group. So what we will be discussing today is the SME instrument, Fireware, FedOpen, Cosme and some further resources for access to risk finance or crowdfunding. And once more, you have to be sure and know that there is no one size fits all with regard to funding schemes and funding instruments. SME instrument. SME instrument is the most competitive currently funding instrument under Horizon 2020, which may be offering you from 50,000 euros up to 2.5 or 5 million euros as a single small or medium-sized enterprise in the European Union. This is very competitive and this refers to disruptive innovation and disruptive innovative technologies or business models that may be having a very high competitive and commercial value in the worldwide market, not only in the local market. The SME instrument is for legal entities that have already started their, um, or they do exist for many years in the market. So it is not a vehicle for creating startups, but maybe, maybe some startup may have a very innovative and commercial business product that could be of eligibility for the SME instrument. You will find further details for all six uh, funding instruments in these PowerPoints that are available to you on the Moodle platform. The second funding instrument is Fiware, which is targeting open APIs for open minds. Actually, Fiware is a startup financing scheme or a business financing scheme for future internet technologies and this is very targeting and very relative, relative to what you are discussing in the other courses of Colibri. Fireware may be able to give you funding from 5,000 euros up to 200,000 euros through a network of 16 accelerators all over Europe. You just have to identify some APIs that you are willing to use in order to provide your services through a commercial business model. Or you have to create your own APIs based on maybe some generic enablers that Fireware is offering you in order to create your product or service. FedOpen. FedOpen is referring to future and emerging technologies and is more research-oriented scheme. This has to do with high-risk research projects that need collabor collaboration across Europe. So the minimum requirement is to have three partners from three different countries. And the budget of this project is significantly higher, from 2 to 4 million euros. But again, the focus here is on breakthrough technologies that have a strong academic part. And then there are exchange programs like the Erasmus for Young Entrepreneurs program which offers you the possibility to go and learn in a different country next to a successful enterprise. You will find more details in local, in your local uh, 
Erasmus for Young Entrepreneurs office and you can find the opportunities where you can exchange these experiences with other entrepreneurs all around Europe. And then there are resources for access to risk finance. So this means debt or equity models. And you have to know the access to finance.eu website where you can search for all or and you have to know the access for finance.eu website where you will be able to identify all these resources in your local market, in your national market. And Enterprise Europe Network is the key resource that can give you the first cut. And Enterprise Europe Network is the place you can start your search. There is a local office of Enterprise Europe Network in each country and you can start by knocking on their door and ask for what business support services they can provide. They can signpost you to the most appropriate person who will give you the information you need for each of these funding instruments. Please do not be afraid of contacting your Enterprise Europe Network local partner. So, you will be able to find more details on all these six funding instruments on the PowerPoint on the Moodle platform. Thanks for watching.